The tensor fascia lata, or TFL, is a small superficial muscle located on the lateral side of the upper thigh. Approximately three fingers wide, the TFL is easily accessible between the upper fibers of the rectus femoris and the gluteus medius. So chances are, if you've ever gotten in an automobile, you're familiar with your TFL because it involves flexion, medial rotation, and abduction of the hip. And don't I look ready to just jump into my Maserati, huh? Well, let's see if we can access a little bit of the TFL now. So I'm going to first find the ASIS. It's that prominent bony landmark right on the top of the hip, right there. And then I'm going to just walk my fingers back along the iliac crest a little bit right here. And that little two inch region right there is sort of that top edge of where the TFL is going to be. And then I can pretty much run down the side of the thigh like so. And there we can see where that TFL is located. Good. And if I want to see this muscle engaged, I'm going to ask my partner to just try to medially rotate her hip against my resistance. So go ahead and try to medially rotate. Great. And if I set my hand right along that pathway, Wow, sure enough, there's a very solid tubular muscle right there. I can even get my fingers on either side of it as it descends down the thigh. It pretty much ends right around here. Great, go ahead and relax. And then when it's relaxed, I can really roll my fingers across those fibers that run in this direction. Now, how far down does the TFL go? Well, pretty much to the level of the greater trochanter, and I can find that by just setting my hand on the side of the thigh right here, I can passively rotate the hip a little bit, and there underneath my fingers, I can feel the bony prominence of the greater trochanter. So this is gonna be our TFL, our tensor fascia lata muscle. Well, at that point, it blends into the iliotibial tract. So let's explore that for a moment. The iliotibial tract comes from here at the gluteal fascia blends and sort of funnels and converges fascially as it descends down the lateral side of the leg, finally attach here at that tibial tubercle. So if I want to just access a little of that iliotibial tract, I can just set my hand on the side of the thigh, and deep to the iliotibial tract, first of all, will be the vastus lateralis fibers, and they're going to sort of curl and run this way. But if I work very superficially, I can feel those really dense fascial tissue that runs this way. And as I get closer to the knee, these fibers bundle together. There, my fingers are on either side. And it feels, frankly, a bit like duct tape. I mean, it's like really, really tough tissue. And that's going to be that distal portion of the iliotibial tract here, superficial to that vastus lateralis muscle. So that's just a little bit of the iliotibial tract as it descends the lateral side of the leg.